It is often said that hard work pays, but for Joseph Boke, a dropout of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, the reverse is true. Joseph Boke has always been a top performer in his class. His ambition was to join a university and study medicine or education. His determination was not deterred even by a 10 years long period of secondary education, sitting KCC exams three times that propelled him to score a straight airplane in his third attempt. I've been raised up by my grandmother who is elderly. Uh, she has taken good care of us, we are three. I have an elder sister who left for Tanzania, uh, she has never come back. And then I have a young sister who follows me. Uh, she was married, uh, but also the marriage is in issues. 2003 was the year Joseph Boke sat for his KCP examination, scoring 397 marks, just short of three more, to join his dream national school, Stare Boys Center. Nevertheless, he was excited to join Taranganya High School in 2004 and oblivious of what would be awaiting him through his O-level. His primary and secondary school exam reports reveal an ever smart lad. Kiswahili airplane, mathematics airplane, biology airplane, uh, chemistry airplane, history and government airplane, and then business studies in Kapata A minus. Aggregate points in 81. So that is a mini grade airplane. Boke lost his mother in 1994 and had to be raised up by his old grandmother with his two sisters. His grandmother didn't bear a child as she's barren. The Korea community allows a barren woman to marry a young lady and solicit a man to sell kids for her. Boki and his siblings are the results of this practice. They are not supposed to know their father. Maria Mogosi, Joseph Boki's grandmother, was sent away from a matrimonial home by her ex-husband because she was barren. She and her family settled in Sirare town on a land she bought in 1985 after breeding and selling changa for a period of five years. At Form 3, Boke was discontinued when a new principal came to Taranganya High School. This is because he owed the school a large amount of money in fees. He decided to go back to primary school to rebuild a farm foundation again for high school. He scored a C plus when he first sat KCC in 2008. And then I opted to go back to primary. I went to Nyaroha Primary School, it's in Korea East. From Form 3? Yeah. I went back. I struggled. Uh, my performance was not that bad even if we go back to school. Yeah, I was stopping. I struggled and then did uh, KCSE in 2008 at Kebaroti, got a C plus. But the C plus that I got, I, I saw that it was not helpful. Wanted to go back to school so that I can go to university. That was my dream, to go to university and do a course that my heart desired that I could do. Boke went to high school again and in 2012 when he sat his second KCSE exams, he got a Y in his math paper. This was his best subject. He had 71 points in the other six subjects though. When Boke sat his third KCC exams in 2013, he scored a straight A plane of 81 points. He was placed for actuarial science at JQ Watt. This was not his dream pursuit, but he had no choice. He tried to seek for an interfaculty transfer, but he was told by the university registrar's office that he needed to have scored more than 81 points to secure government sponsorship so as to transfer from medicine, which was what he wanted to pursue. Even for actuarial science, the government funding was still not enough. He would also use part of the government funding to support his ailing old grandmother and siblings. He was able to clear his first year of study, but dropped out of university just at the start of second year. Hey, that is the first time that I gave up in life. Like I remember, I sourced for funds. While I, when I was leaving school, I sourced for funds that could help me travel from Nairobi to home. I footed from Juja to Nairobi town, to the city center. Uh, it took me like four hours. I just, it was on that slow pace, it took me four hours. Joseph Boke currently works in a pub at Ntimaru in Korea East as a manager and earns 5,000 shillings per month. The 
the pub belongs to a former high school friend. Hapa ndio mimi kazi, hii inaitwa Bison's Club, iko Kimaru. Na siku yangu huanza 6 asubuhi ndio niwaamka na kupitia vitabu vya mahesabu, nichukue stock nzuri, uh, then nikalitlete vitu zote, nipitie mpaka hiyo list ya jikoni, pia tuko na section ya restaurant, nafanya hesabu huko, nafanya stock pia taking huko, nikuja nichukue na hapa. Uh, assign duties to the waiters how they are doing that. So you have to sleep hata kama ni 3 hours, by 5 na make sure uko up, unafanya kazi kulingana na venye umetoa maelekezo. Maria Mogosi pleased with well wishes to help a grandchild go back to college and clear school. Her youngest grandchild who already got married, she says, faces domestic violence at a matrimonial home and ponders over bringing her back home with the young girl's children. Angalia mtoto msaitie asome. Unisaitie mtoto huyu asome amalize shuleni. Niko na mtoto mwingine tena na dada yake. Ko na sida sana. Hata napiko na marungu. Muti anampika na muti. Hata nilisanga, ilienda ngasanga. Kaona huyu nikuua alikuwa anataka uwe. Mm. Kwa nataka nimtoe huko. Atikuisi hapa sasa ninashindwa bila nitamtoa. Every morning Maria Mogosi wakes up early, treks to Sirare Town Center where she does exchange small amounts of Tanzanian and Kenyan currencies. She has been doing this now for over 20 years and she says that she makes a profit of between 50 and 70 shillings per day. This helps her meet her need and sometimes send some cash to her youngest grandchild. <laughs> Boki now calls for anyone who can help him go back to college and complete his education. My dream is to go back to the school, any college that someone can take me to, so that I live and uh, fulfill my dreams and my, and my objectives that I've been having in life. I've been teaching for long, so I wanted to pursue education and do chemistry and mathematics. So if I get someone who will help me go to school, I have an elderly grandmother, I have a sister who needs my help, so education will take me a short period and then it will be very easy for me to find even if it's even if I've not finished the years that the government uh, will take me and employ me I still I believe that I can get uh, a BOG job and do that and help my family with the increasing number of students dropping out of high school or in their tertiary level of education and so bright the government should certainly look into increasing funding for such students so that they are able to complete education and have a better future for NTV this decades Mitchell.